Hi everyone, Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au. Recently I spoke to you about um, prospects for the Perth market and I was saying that I believe that uh, a lot of the smart money in real estate investment is going to be going towards Perth next year as a market where pricing is down but recovery is underway. Another market amongst Capital City Australia which I think is going to grab more attention in 2018 than it has in the recent past is Adelaide. I think uh, Adelaide is... Uh, I think the most underrated market in Capital City Australia, but I think we're going to be talking about it more in 2018. I think something is, is changing in, in Adelaide. To date, it's been um, pretty much not on the radar screen of property watchers or property investors, and I think there's a perception that South Australia lacks economic muscle and there's not much in the way of population growth happening there. Therefore, not a lot of growth drivers for real estate in the capital city, Adelaide. But I think a lot is changing. Recently, uh, Comsec, with its State of the State's quarterly report, elevated South Australia from the number six ranked economy in the nation to number four. And it's been a long time since South Australia ranked so highly in that report. We've also seen a survey showing that there's been an improvement in business confidence in South Australia. And the latest figures from the Australian Bureau of Statistics on unemployment shows particularly in trend terms, an improvement in the unemployment rate uh, for South Australia. And in fact, the latest figure from the ABS is the, the best figure for unemployment for South Australia in the last uh, five years, the lowest in the last five years. But I think the biggest things are yet to come, the big game-changing events that are really going to put uh, the South Australian economy on the radar screen and the Adelaide property market responding to that on the radar screen for property investors I think those big events are still to come. And the biggest of them um, is the, the program for building vessels for the Navy, which is going to be fo primarily focused on Adelaide. Um, this is a colossal program, allegedly worth $89 billion over the next few decades. Uh, and the first step in that very, very big program, which is going to be focused primarily on the, uh, the Adelaide uh, shipyard, at uh, Osborne, is a an infrastructure build, a $535 million project creating 600 jobs to prepare the shipbuilding facility for the, for the first of the big builds. And that's um, going to be creating a loan. That infrastructure build will create uh, 600 jobs with um, the big national company legally selected as the, the managing contractor, contractor for that uh, construction. When that's completed in about two years' time, we expect to see the beginning of um, the first project, which is a $35 billion project to build uh, nine frigates for the Navy to start in 2020. Um, and then we're going to see an even bigger project, a $50 billion project to build 12 new submarines for the Navy. The whole uh, project, according to a study by Price Waterhouse Coopers, is going to create something like 8,000 jobs in South Australia over a couple of decades and deliver a boost to the gross state pro product, they say, of $134 billion. So that's really big. But we're also seeing other things happening that are going to make uh, the South Australian economy stronger, I believe. Um, the resources sector com is coming back strongly. And just one example of that is the announcement recently by BHP that it's going to spend $3 billion expanding its Olympic mine dam. We're seeing a lot of money um, being invested in energy production uh, for South Australia. Just Port Augusta alone, that area has got a dozen projects worth about $5 billion targeted on it. Uh, we recently saw the the official turning on of the world's, allegedly the world's largest uh, lithium ion battery, a project involving Tesla tech billionaire Elon Musk. Uh, said he had built it in 100 days or provide it for free. That's been completed. There's a lot being spent on infrastructure in Adelaide, particularly on road and rail uh, transport infrastructure, uh, a new multi-billion dollar hospital, recent announcement of about $660 million to be injected into the facilities at the RAF base Edinburgh in Adelaide's north. A lot more happening and all these events are going to have a big impact on real estate. Now Adelaide real estate is a much stronger performer in recent times than, than many people realise. Uh, and the spring edition of our um, very popular report, the Price Predict Index, which we publish every quarter, uh, Adelaide actually ranked number one in the nation in terms of the number of suburbs with rising sales activity. So in terms of the parameters we applied to that report, uh, Adelaide was the number one rising market um, 
in Capital City, Australia. It's been a very solid performer in the last couple of years. Sales activity has been rising uh, across the board as an average across the Adelaide area. Uh, price growth has only been sort of 4 or 5% per year, according to most uh, research sources. But um, individual pockets, individual suburbs and precincts have done much better than that, including some that have had double digit annual price growth. But I think that in 2018 and beyond, we're going to see better things in terms of price growth in Adelaide as some of these economic events start to have an impact on real estate in Adelaide. And I think it's going to attract attention from investors because the value for money in Adelaide is quite tremendous. Um, it's so affordable compared to the bigger cities. And what is four hundred and five hundred thousand dollar real estate in Adelaide would be million dollar real estate in Sydney and Melbourne. So it's one to watch for 2018. Adelaide alongside Perth, alongside Perth as the uh, perhaps the two coming markets for 2018 amongst the Australian capital cities. That's it for now. Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au. Talk to you again soon.